I think the biggest opportunity is going to be how societies care for each other. I think it's been very fragmented in the past, and I think when you look at what's happening across the world at this moment in time, societies need to get back to caring for each other. Some people talk about bringing back the nuclear family, extended family. But when I look back to my grandmother and I look back to my family in the past, how we looked after each other, how the neighbours support each other, and communities cared for each other. And I think the biggest opportunity is to let's get back to our grassroots. From the point of a maternal, child and women's health and the women in general, um, we know that sadly every... Uh, uh, two seconds, somewhere in the world a, a, a woman dies in the process of giving birth or as a result of giving birth and giving birth is supposed to be a very joyous uh, period in time for the family, for the community but often in some families it, it, it's actually a very um, sad um, occasion. So for me I think that the access, universal access to healthcare is uh, what we should be working towards uh, in the next uh, uh, in the next ten years, focusing largely on the empowerment of women, and also ensuring that uh, uh, women get the best possible uh, access to to healthcare. I think it would be transparent leadership among the politicians in the continent of Africa. Uh, Africa as a whole is an underdeveloped country or continent and we can only forge ahead in our development if our leadership gets up, stands up, become transparent and do things which would see to the development of the continent.